What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to another video. In this video I want to show you some examples regarding finding derivative of trigonometric functions. The first example here I have y equals to 3 tan x minus 2 obsecant x. Then you want to find now y prime. Okay. The derivative of tan x is secant squared x minus 2. Derivative of cosecant x is negative cosecant x times cotan x. If negative and negative cancels out, it's going to be 3 secant squared x plus 2 cosecant x times cotan x. Next one. y equals to 4 sine 3x minus x. Y prime is 4 times derivative of sine 3x is 3 cosine 3x. Derivative of negative x is going to be negative. So it's going to be 12 cosine 3x minus 1. Next example. Y equals to 4x squared minus 3 tan 2x. Y prime will be Derivative of 4x squared is 8x minus 3 times derivative of tan 2x. Derivative of tan u, which u is a function of x, is u prime times secant squared u. So that will be 3 times 2 times secant squared 2x which is going to be 8x minus 6 secant squared 2x. Next example. y equals to tan cube 2t minus cosecant to the power of 4 3t. You know the derivative of u to the power of n is n u to the power of n minus 1 times u prime. So here we have 3 times 10 squared 2t times the derivative of 10 2t is 2 times secant squared 2t. Minus derivative of cosecant to the power of 4 3t will be 4 times cosecant 4 minus 1 3 3t times 3 times derivative of cosecant is negative cosecant 3t cotan 3t. So when you simplify it, it's going to be 6 tan squared 2t times secant squared 2t minus, with this minus, it's going to be plus. 4 times 3 is going to be 12. Cosecant to the power of 3, 3t times cosecant 3t times cotan 3t. That will be 6 tan squared 2t times secant squared 2t plus 12. Cosecant to the power of 3, 3t times Cosecant 3t is going to be cosecant to the, cosecant to the power of 4, 3t times cotan 3t. Next one is y equals to x squared plus 2 cosine squared 4x. y prime is going to be the derivative of x squared is 2x. And here we have 2 times the derivative of cosine squared 4x is going to be 2 times negative sine. 4x times 4 times cosine 4x, which will be 2x plus x minus 2 times 2, 4 times 4, 16, sine to the power of 4x, cosine, sine 4x times cosine 4x. That's going to be the derivative. Next one y equals to x times cosine 5x squared. Yeah, I need to use the product 
rule. Derivative of the first one, 1 times the second one, cosine 5x squared, plus x times derivative of cosine 5x squared. Derivative of 5x squared is going to be 10x times negative sine 5x squared. When you simplify it, it's going to be cosine 5x squared plus actually negative 10x squared sine 5x squared. That's the final answer. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment if you have any question and I get back to as soon as possible. Thank you for watching and have a great day.